Thank you to my Patreons for sponsoring this video. If you would like to see the unboxing, try-on haul, and first impressions of my Printful apparel, please visit my Patreon and pledge today to unlock that new video. On screen I have the Cherry Dumb Bitch Juice. This is a Raglan red and white long sleeve t-shirt. The size that I got for myself is a unisex medium and it's made with 100% cotton. I show the tag around the video somewhere and it says right on the tag that's 100% cotton so it's a pretty comfortable shirt. I chose my Cherry Dumb Bitch Juice logo. I made a couple of other logos but I ended up going with this one because I thought the wording just looked better compared to the other design. I made a mistake of not properly centering it, so when I was trying this on, and you might see it on the shirt, it looks a little off-centered, so if I was to sell this particular design, I would need to go back to the print full mock-up generator and tweak it a bit more so it's centered better. <laughs> Next, you can see the Titty T Boba shirt that I have. This is a black Bella Plus Canvas shirt. The Bella Plus Canvas is the brand. It's a unisex medium, like the last one, and it's made out of 100% cotton. And like the first shirt, this shirt's pretty comfortable. A little long on me, but considering I'm 4'11", so any shirt is gonna be a little long on me. Now, originally the design of the shirt is a bit more bright. I used brighter colors that may or may not be suitable for CMYK, but when I put it in the mock-up generator, I made sure the file itself with CMYK. I was kind of hoping that the colors would pop out more against the black, but upon closer look, it looks a little faded. I was able to wash this in the washer and none of the colors really faded out, but I kind of wish the colors were a little brighter. <laughs> Lastly, we have the Dumb Bitch Juice shirt. The shirt itself is a pink Bella plus canvas shirt. It's a unisex medium and it's made with 100% cotton. This design itself is my very first Dumb Bitch Juice art that I made around end of 2018. And I always wanted to make this particular design into a shirt, but because of the amount of detail it has, a lot of places quoted me and it would have cost thousands of dollars for me to even make small runs. So I scrapped that idea for a while. I found that Printful was able to print more complicated designs so I want to give it a test and I actually like the way this looks against the pink shirt. I think the colors pop out pretty nicely. It blends in pretty well. It looks almost like the original illustration. I really like this shirt and I'm definitely going to incorporate this into my wardrobe in some way. Pros of Printful Apparel the fabric quality is pretty great. I thought that the shirts wouldn't feel that comfortable, but upon wearing them and trying them out, it actually feels really nice on my skin. I have the ability to print more complicated designs or detailed designs. With Printful, it allows me to submit my more complicated designs because they're able to print that. Printful uses a DTG or direct to garment type of printing. This means that they're printing directly onto the shirt itself rather than making a patch and then ironing it on. With Printful, they directly print print the design onto the garment so it's stuck onto the shirt. Which leads to my next point that these are machine washable. I didn't see much of a difference when it came to the design chipping away or fading away. The drop shipping aspect of Printful could actually help me personally. Usually with my store, I ship out everything, I pack everything on my own. With Printful, they would take care of the production and the shipping. The cons of Printful Apparel. The print quality can be a little hit or miss with some designs and colors, but my biggest issue was the Titty T shirt I had. I used the black color because on the mock-up it actually looked pretty dope with the black background rather than a yellow background. The thing is is that I think because that design was directly printed onto the black, but I was a little disappointed that the colors looked a little faded. This is a small nitpick, but it had a weird smell upon opening the packaging. It just smelled like vinegar chips. And this is the biggest con I have. Production can take about 5 to 12 weeks. Please keep in mind, these shirts will take about 5 to 12 weeks of production. And sh it's shipping's within that, but it's gonna take a while. I'm not sure if anyone wants to wait that long for one t-shirt or one sh apparel. That's something to really keep in mind. Their production has, like, slowed down because of COVID-19, so that's something I don't have control over, which 
leads to my next point about the drop shipping. The drop shipping could be an issue with customers because I'm not the one who's controlling the production and the shipping. That's all printful and unfortunately with using that third party seller, if an issue does come up, that's something I cannot control because that is printful's thing and that could just lead to a lot of other situations of me contact printful and all this other stuff and it might just be a hassle or a headache. I did not put this con on the list here. I think because it's more of a me problem than anyone else but for some reason these shirts are stupid long. Keep in mind I am 4'11". I am a size of a gremlin. These shirts fit me like a nightgown or a very very tiny dress. If you're taller than 4'11", I'm pretty sure these shirts would look nice on you but on me for some reason the shirts are just stupid long on me. that is my review of my printful samples that I have. This is a more shorter and concise video compared to the Patreon exclusive video that I did. If you want to see more videos or content like this, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I am very active on my Patreon on posting a lot of exclusive things such as digital printouts, PDF and SG SVG files of vector art I do. And I post early on on my Patreon, let's say I make a new art, all my patrons get to see that firsthand. And if you're a first time patron of mine, you actually get to have two free stickers from my shop. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider uh, supporting me on Patreon. I'll leave the link down below for more information, but that is patreon.com slash bubble tea penguin.